How much does your skill affect the way you look at a situation? What's the difference between Immortal and Radiant? Let's see, because I'm going to show five different players of five different ranks, different Valorant situations, to see what they would do. Here's the first clip. You're on defense, playing on bind as Astra. Wait, I have a knife and two. There's a Killjoy stuck in the back of the yeah, yeah, yeah. and she takes out two of your teammates before you trade her out. You're now the last player left, and your attention is towards sight until you hear a step from behind. What do you do here? So we know there's one out there, right? And we don't have time to use our abilities. So, oh, okay, reload. Reload? The gun, it has three bullets. Oh, no, it doesn't. Why does it say three on it? <laughs> Somebody kills you up. For real? Yeah. That's really cool. I didn't know that gun did that. Whip my camera around, turn to see if they push hookah. If not, I would probably back out slightly. Okay, there's somebody coming up like, what is that called? Outside hookah, right? We go for that, we kill them, and then I think the last person was on site, right? So they had to come to me and then just wait in hookah. Like in a really cringe corner because we have a stinger. So we already know that the jet is over here. And then we just heard someone step. It seems like we also heard someone step here. So what you would ideally do in this scenario is fight the person closer to you, which is outside hookah. One, because you have a stinger, but also two, the jet's not really threatening you uh, directly. She'll probably be jumping up soon, but if you're quick enough to fight the cypher here, um, you should be able to kill him and then fight the jet. So I'm here. I know there's one tango here, one tango here, probably trying to collapse onto me. I'm probably going to look to walk around this corner and fight this guy. And I want to get around that corner so they can't like shoot me in the back. Depending on whether or not this guy's smart, like what elo this is in, if he's trying to wrap here to double up and take the bomb, I would probably try to follow them and come out towards Octagon because they're going to try and double up if they're playing correctly and come in to get this bomb together. And they wouldn't I think they wouldn't expect me to come around this way. So, so I'm going to push this guy and try to keep my back blocked from this dude. Well, let's see how it went. One enemy remaining. No way. That was a nice clutch by Astra, but here's your next clip. You're at breach and you're coming to defuse the spike and you managed to get two kills on your way. And now it's down to 1v1. As you flash, you manage to catch a glimpse of the Sage. You can also see her on your minimap. What would you do here? Do I know where they are? Uh, do you? The first... Do you know where they are? Um, I personally do not. <laughs> so, um, just go for the spike. I don't. I don't think there has to be any hubbub about it. Hubbub. I mean, I and on the minimap now, you can notice that Sage is looking at you. So I would attempt to back up slightly in order to pull out my weapon and then attempt to peek off of the flash after my weapon has come back up. Okay, we tap the bomb, get half. Oh wait, you see him on the map. Okay, he's sand. So get half and then you concuss and then you peek them and you one tap them, hopefully. From the minimap here, we can obviously see this is where she is. So I don't need to say much more. Just turn, shoot her. Um, if the spike is behind the wall, you can just stick the spike if you need to, but just kill her, stick the spike. I flash, I peek, and then I see her here. And if she's full blind, I'm just gonna shoot the shot because that's really high conversion rate. And if she's not full blind, like she's backing up, I'm sending breach ult at her and I'm just sticking the bomb. I'm taking my free round one. All right, let's see how it went. Shut up and let me work. Here's the next clip. You turn the 1v3 into a 1v2 and then a 1v1. Now you have 54 seconds and your spike is down in mid. What do you do? I don't know. I don't know where the other person is. I would go through that little room that we just killed the person in and be on high alert because I don't know where the other guy is. He's probably right behind you or something. Fade Prowler one more time directly to my right just to ensure that the Phoenix isn't close up on me. If it doesn't catch, then I would bait out a flash and then move in to attempt to kill after the flash. Well, hopefully we're going to assume that he's by bomb unless he's brain dead. So we're going to fade ult the bomb, right? Because we need it to plant and pray it gets him. And if it doesn't, then we have to get the bomb and then go plant B. But as we go to B, we clear all of our corners because he could be sitting in one of them. 
you've killed four, so you have a lot of momentum. You're you're basically the Phoenix is going to be starting to get a little bit scared. I think you heard him shooting. I think you heard him shooting from like mid. You know where the, you know the spike is down. So you need to just kind of fight him. You can do that a couple of ways. You can come around to the left. Personally, I would just come on mid, either running. I'd probably use a prowler just to try to get a little bit more info. Maybe jiggle peek if I see him, then use my prowler. But yeah, you have to fight him. You have to get the spike. We know Phoenix is somewhere in this type of box very likely um it is possible that he's wrapping us to try and shoot us in the back so i'm first gonna dog at this close angle i'd probably play it by ear and shift walk this way and try to fight him using the fatal for info isn't a bad play but i'm concerned that it's, since it's a 1v1 i kind of know he's already in this box and my fatal is just gonna tell me that he's in this box anyways so i'd probably just save the fatal because it doesn't matter if you can hear me or not if i somehow get to like this corner and I jiggle and I don't see him, I probably fatal in this direction, just in case it's this type of region. Well, let's see how it went. He's either art here or Mendoza. Hit him for 16. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Here's the next clip. This round seems unwinnable, but then you manage to get two kills. You wrap around to long and get one more kill. One enemy remaining. The problem is, you only have 15 seconds, so this situation is fairly one-dimensional. I'll let our mortal explain why. Where should he be going in 14 seconds? He has 14 seconds to make a play. The spike's down, he needs to plant or he needs to kill the sage. So you basically just need to push in and hope for the best. Um, if you wait, because if you wait, the sage is going to hide and you're going to lose. So what would you do here if you instead had 45 seconds? Okay, first of all, she did not completely clear that to her left. Then I go forward, and then if I don't see her, like, immediately out there or in the cubby place, I would put a wall. I would probably loop back around through garage, and I would fight off of the contact through garage. I get the bomb, and as, obviously as I get the bomb, I clear cubby, and then I just run to A. Yeah, so I'm just going to look to jump spot. I'm probably going to grab the bomb, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tricky guy. I'm going to look to wall up here and stand on the wall, the corner here. Making the guy think that I grabbed the bomb and I'm like leaving. And I'm just going to count to like 20 and then I'm just going to go plant C. And this wall will act as cover because I know now he can't come to my C long for quite a while. So I'm just going to plant the bomb and I'm going to plant it front sight. And this is a trick I learned from Mind Freak. You plant the bomb for you're not going to go play. So I plant it there and I come to this off angle and hold CT. And the reason I'm going to hold back sight here, just holding CT, is even if my wall breaks and he can come long or come garage, nobody in their right mind doesn't tap the bomb first. Although sadly, uh, our clip does not have 45 seconds and it ends quite expectedly. Oh. <gasps> that spook you? That spook you? <laughs> you okay? Here's the last clip. It's a 1v3 as Cypher, and you body shot Barry the first guy. You fake plant, and it lures out another one to come heaven. You peek him, and you win the fight. Brimstone was last seen tree with an operator, and you still have your camera up. How do you win this? They can't see you. So just plant first? Yeah. What do you do after you plant? Hide. I would attempt to get the alt move from box towards Jen, as tree doesn't have as nice as an angle. So you cypher ult, and then you plant as it gets him? then it's obviously going to get him again. So just don't, don't peek the op because he has to come to you and defuse. You know, last one's tree, he could go heaven. It's probably still tree though, if I had to guess. I think either just plan or commit to a fight. Holding from this angle is actually really good by these boxes crouched because it's like a headshot angle, which makes the shot for the operator pretty difficult. Um, it evens the field a bit. And I've got this camera that I can just tap every now and then, but I'm almost certainly just sticking the bomb right now, checking cam real quick, and then holding this heaven walk up. And after certain timing windows pass, like I feel he would have been seen here already, I'd check the cam again. I can't give you a precise time Timing, but I know that I check at the right time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'd... yeah. Well, let's see how this last clip went. Ten seconds left. Why are you doing this? That was so stupid. That was so stupid. <laughs> I under that was so stupid. <laughs> if you want to see your clip in the videos, join my Discord and send it in there. Besides that, uh, subscribe. Bye bye.